Is that you, chap? I promised to tell you about my adventures, didn't I? Well, I brought this on myself. Now to keep my word. Once upon a time, there was a long war against Dark Elves all across the north. And then one day, two races fought the final battles till the last soldier. That truly was a great day. Elves summoned horrid creatures from the depths of hell, and we fought them using only our swords. For a long time, people thought that no man survived this battle. Ha! I think you know how wrong they were. I survived and have been waiting to avenge the fallen, but first, I needed to rest, improve my skills, and clear a whole lot of dungeons, abandoned ships and castles. Each day I was replenishing my reputation and restoring my strength doing tasks. I was becoming stronger in things I was doing. Many months passed until I was able to avenge them, but I've seen dragons, trolls, and even dinosaurs, and those glorious battles with huge bosses have a special place in my memory. When I was a young chap like you, was earning money wandering the world, playing my loot, and clearing basements of rats. This simple life kept me fed, and grateful women kept me satisfied. Ah, those were the good times. Then I was solely interested in stuffing my pockets full of gold. That's why I got into deep trouble. I wanted to help a princess for a decent reward, of course, and thus was pulled into internal squabbles between a fanatic order and a druid cult. Before I got to my goal, I've met cowardly Valkyries, talking skulls, stupid goblins, and fire-breathing rats. In addition to that, a strange voice started to talk to me and make fun of me. It was great fun. Songs, dances, and an absorbing plot. I mean, story. Long time ago, my father was an immortal god, till one day he got banished and was turned into a mortal after stealing tablets. Foreseeing his death, he created descendants from a mortal woman. That's how I was born, half god, half human. But apart from me, there were several other descendants, and one of them wanted to kill all the other ones to remain the only one and become a god. I'm not that easy to get rid of. Once my sibling, Saravok became my enemy. Trying to kill me, he murdered my stepfather and then went on the run. I had nothing else to do but create my own team of adventurers and attempt to end the wrongdoings of my brother. The most difficult in that adventure was making the right choices, because my vision and nature fully determined the adventurers I could take with me. There were real time controls with a tactical pause. Um, I mean, we sometimes took breaks. In the past, when I was a mercenary, I got a message from my old companion Sam, may he rest in peace, saying that he was killed with 100,000 gold on him. Naturally, if I found the body, I would take that money for myself. But when I got to the city, I found out that he became a victim of a killer known as the Emerald City Ripper. Yes, that's the one who could get a brain and a heart for cheap, but he wasn't a match for me. When I found him, I made him pay for the crime, but alas, the investigation revealed that he was a mere pawn. That's how I got involved with the Universal Brotherhood, a religious order preparing the ground for an invasion from another world. I had nothing left to do but get another team and fight the invasion. Fortunately, the inventory wasn't small, and enemies dropped quite a bit of loot. A long time ago, there was a war between the Empire and Jedi Knights. In this ruthless war, almost everyone was killed by the Sith, but I survived. And I became the last hope of saving the Galactic Empire. Soon after that, I landed on Taurus, occupied by Sith. I got out of my escape pod and ran until I found some Jedi who prepared me for the final battle with the Sith. I learned how to use a lightsaber, lightning, high jump, and how to do many other things. And the great thing was that no one limited me. I could join the Sith if I wanted to, but I felt responsible, so I braced myself and went to the space station full of the dark side of the Force. I had a great battle with a Sith Lord called Malak. He threw a sword at me, and I used my mind to levitate the whole ship and threw it at him, and he dodged it, and he's like, Zzzz. 
sending lightning at me, and I created a barrier. And then when he had no more force, I hit him hard. That's how I won. So in the end, I managed to save the Galactic Empire. You think I'm shitting you? I'm serious as fuck. You better get out of here.